Hello, welcome back. This is Last Garden Standing. And today I'd like to do something for Christmas. I want to show you some Christmas flowers that I've got displayed here. Uh, besides the traditional Christmas tree, the pine tree, there's so many other flowers that's really decorative and festive for Christmas. Here is the poinsettias, is what I'm going to do. I do have a red one and a pink one, but also there's white too. Um, they are very hardy in zones 9 through 11, and surprisingly, they're very good and easy to grow. So that's what I would like to do first. First, I'd like to tell you never let your poinsettias stand in water. Just keep them moist, but keep them in bright sunlight for up to six to eight hours a day. The poinsettia does not like cold at all, not even cold drafts. Even a cold draft will make it wilt. To keep the poinsettias through winter, which you can, first of all, cut the stems back. Keep them growing that way. Keep them moist and keep especially your parent plant. Also, the second thing you should do is once the new stems grow about four inches, then you can take the cuttings from that. When you get ready to take it outside, make sure there's no danger of frost or any kind of cold like that. Make sure it's real warm. You can t transplant it in a slightly larger container because you want to be able to bring them back in for the following Christmas. So just I would pot them in our area here in Utah. Frequent pruning will be required, just so you know that. That's what I want to say about the poinsettias. They're beautiful, so you can keep them all year round. Now I would like to talk a little bit about the other plants, the Christmas plants that I have in mind and I have displayed here. They're also really pretty and festive around Christmas, and you can keep them all year around. Some are house plants and some you can transplant out. First, I'd like to mention this Christmas cactus, Mailer. It's M-A-L-A-Y-R. It, uh, this cactus blooms at Christmas time. It makes a good house plant. Give the plant bright, but indirect light. Don't put it exactly right in the sunlight. It needs indirect light. Near a window, too much light actually stunts its growth. To water this house plant, get a tray filled with half pebbles and half water. This will keep your plant with the water that it needs. When that, let it go dry and then fill it with water again. Fertilize in spring and summer. Do not fertilize it in winter. The next one I want to talk about is these two. They're called the Norfolk Island Pine. These are a little house plant Christmas trees. They're exactly what they look like. However, they are really more related to the gardenia or the orchid and are not really a pine as they look. Keep them away from cold and any drafts at all. They need high humidity as well. Use a tray with this also. Half water and half pebbles. Keep in the tray and let the water go down and then do it again. This little Christmas tree is a good decorative house plant. Several hours of direct bright sunlight. Also fertilize in spring and summer. Do not fertilize in winter. The third one I'd like to talk about is the succulents, and you can see there's many varieties. This is an aloe vera, actually, and there's quite a few different ones. There's four or five different succulents in here. The succulents are cactuses, however, not all succulents are, but they store their moisture in their leaves. That's why they have real puffy leaves, because the water is actually stored in there. You can put them in a container with different kinds, such as this one, that makes a good display. Give the container a good soaking of water, but make sure the bottom has holes for it to drain right back out. Let soil completely dry out again before soaking in it water again. It needs full sun for the house plants. 
That's all for this time. This is Last Garden Standing. Like, share, comment, and please subscribe. Decorate your Christmas and your home also with these festive plants and make it cheerful, loving, and happy. Happy Holidays.